Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Mets going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch on the hill for the Reds, Hunter Green. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. All right, ready to go here. And here's the veteran outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. And here it comes. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. And we're underway. First pick, one o'clock. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Run around the goal. Swing and he popped it up. And it's caught for the out. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always see... Oh, wow, what a stop. Oh. To second, that's one. Yep, to it. first, not in time. Great effort there. Here's Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Rudder takes off. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. 1-1. One, one. Move to first. Lindor back in there. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Ball, no. Up and in, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Left field, way back there. That's back. And that one is gone. An absolute smash to left. It's 2-0. It's no surprise this guy has won the home run derby multiple times. He was born to hit him. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. And a swing and a line drive at a right field, and it gets down for a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. 
Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now it's DJ Stewart. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Side. Now what a two. One, two. Wouldn't two. chase that time. Oh, and a swing two. and a miss. And that's that. Mets had two runs on this blast. And it's two zip. Back after this on the show. Back here with my pal Singy. And on the hill, a soft tossing lefty. Just like you, Chris. Jose Quintana. What's the word on him? Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. Bottom of the first. Here's the second baseman, Matt McClain. The line to kick the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The wind of the pitch. Sinker catches the zone at the knees. That misses the zone, and the count is one and two. The pitch. That one in the dirt. And the count's even at two. And that's a strikeout looking. Frozen with the heater at the knees. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. And a foul ball. So here's a fun note on Ellie. He became the youngest player in high A ball to homer from both sides of the plate in the same game, and it gets better. He did it again two games later. Those are the type of games that tend to get you promoted in the minors. Check swing, but he went too far. No balls, two strikes. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one. Punched out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. So digging in, Spencer Steer. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two out, space is empty. Kicks and fires. And there's a ball. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. 
take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. And now the lefty on the ground to short. Slings to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nobody left for Cincinnati. They trail it here, 2-0. Back here in Cincinnati, and now the catcher comes up to him, Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez. Green back to work. That clips the corner. Inside just missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. He had a big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Base is empty one away here at the top of the second. Ball. And that's off the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. One, two. And a pitch. And they'll do it again. Him looking and he did not like the call back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame and that's now three in a row yeah he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches throwing them where he wants to right now so we'll see how long he can keep this streak going Harrison Bader in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike he's a master at hitting fastballs you need to be careful with location if you're gonna throw them Next offering is downstairs. Good eye in that spot. Two outs. Way high. Three one. Right through there for a strike. That one to first. He steps on the He's bag. Out. And the Mets go one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Mets as they're unable to add to their two nothing lead. Here at Great American ready Ballpark, go. ready to go for the last half of the third inning. Baseman. And now the veteran third Jamer. baseman, Jamer Candelario. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. That one, one oh. not close. And it's one to no. That's down and in. That's a laser base hit. 
So a man on base to start the inning. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. Jonathan India at the plate. Ball. Off the mark there. Ball one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And a pitch. No. Just missed. Just missed. Get a layoff that pitch down. Jake Fraley waiting for a turn at the plate. That one finds the zone, and the count is three and one. Calling this count runner, not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Right through there for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Double play ball to second. Lindor, that's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Jake Fraley, the next to hit for the Reds. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Just missed. Picks over and he breaks for second. The tag and got him at second. Another ball. Two outs to count. That oh, one no. misses. Three and O. Oh. Christian Encarnacion Strand on deck for Cincinnati. Three O oh down. Right. And there's the automatic. Three ball, one strike. Left hand batter waits. Line drive, and there's a hit. And that extends the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Digging in, Christian Encarnacion Strand. That's in there, going one. Runner takes off, pitch in for a strike. Safe and second with a stolen base. Well, with a good arm behind the dish, it's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, but really good clean stolen base. He can be pretty proud of himself. At the belt and fires. 
Can't connect on the curveball. Struck him out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the third inning, and stepping in for New York, Tyrone Taylor. The wind of the pitch. Hammer, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Jeff McNeil stands in. He popped out his first time. And that's outside. And the 1-0. Wouldn't well, chase that time. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. That one finds the zone. It's two and two. Here comes a pitch. Ball three. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Payoff pitch. And there's oh. ball four. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. And now it's Frankie Lindor. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Yeah. There's a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. That's a base hit around third. He scores, and they're up by three. Well done. Drives in the run. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. He's already homered in this game. Pitch misses. And that is ball one. Righty delivers. Ball and that's outside. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. McNeil on second. Lindor at first with no outs. Ball. And another ball. is in for a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Starling Marte up to hit. One for one with a single so far.
yeah. in there at the knees, and it's 0 1. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard. Righty to the plate. Ground ball right side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Now a chance for D.J. Stewart. He was a strikeout victim his first DJ. time. Green checks over to first, and he's back. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. Two on, two outs. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And that's outside. Going to count one and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Kicks and deals. Fouls it off. Still one and two. In the dirt, but no advance from the runners. Small God belted. That's going back. Back some more. Off the batter's eye and gone. And they boost their lead. It's 6 0. And with the six run lead. There are fans that are starting to head to the exits. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Brent Suter gets the ball now. I think it's got to be a little tough Ladies coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Base is empty with two away. Francisco Alvarez digs in now. Fastball in for a strike. 0-1. Suter, 34-year-old vet. He joined the team as a free agent. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Now batting. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Brett Beatty will hit next. His first at bat was a strikeout. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Fires over to first. Then they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. Mets get three on this homer. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back Leading as we go red. to the last of the, the third. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. And the pitch. And a foul ball. Lifted in the air, right center field. Marte really on his horse for it. Nice grab on the run. And there's one away. Batting nine, the center fielder, 
Next for Cincinnati, Will Benson. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. First pitch misses. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Ball. Breaking ball inside. And now 2-0. Oh. No strike. The Reds with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of the third. That one lifted to left. And that'll fall for a base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Recognized the break on that pitch early, and that allowed him to keep his front shoulder in. You know, it's easy to bail on those front door breaking balls, but a great job right there of letting it travel, then unloading a nice balanced swing. McLean in the box now. No balls and a strike. Foul ball there. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Man at first, one away. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Marte, drop step, going back. On the warning track. And hauls it in. Now batting, shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. Went down on strikes his first time through. No, the shortstop the takes the ball. Now if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Benson off of first with two away. No, and that one missing low. low. Snap throw to first. Benson dives back in safely. And he deals. He swings and fouls one off. and misses it's a strikeout couldn't hit the fastball at the knees Reds leave one they still find themselves down six zip back here at Great American Ballpark John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth Harrison Bader the pitch just off the inside edge well, these Mets putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. You just can't average two runs per inning without a complete team effort from the lineup. Everyone's been doing their job, setting up the next hitter and taking care of their own business at the plate. And a pitch. Ball two. Two ball, two strikes. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And here it comes. Ball. Full count. Got 
him looking, and he didn't like the call. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. So the batting order turns over. Here's the left fielder, Tyrone Taylor. And a good eye there. That's in there. That's strike one. No. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. Fouls one off. Two and two. Oh, Swings through geez. that, and it's a strikeout. Two away. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch the right there. Base. At worst-case scenario, yeah. it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. McNeil stands in with two away as he takes a ball. The Mets up big in this one. Top half of inning number four. There's the strike up high, and it's one and one. Slow roller to third, Candelario. Sends it across the first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Three up, three down that time. And midway in the fourth, it's the Mets six, and the Reds nothing. Bottom of the fourth, now the left fielder, Spencer Steer. The left fielder, Spencer Steer. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Ball. And ball one. Ball. That one no. off the mark. And a count two and one. Two one. Right through there for a strike. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now batting Jamer Candelario. And he's already singled in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Ball. And that one no, is inside it. ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The Reds with a lot of ground to make up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And a one-two again. And that one a little bit high. It's a good take. That one misses. And now it's three and two.
kicks and fires. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Taylor puts it away. Now that the designated hitter, Jonathan India. And now, Jonathan India, he's 0 for 1. Ball one. Squirts away a little bit. Well done behind the dish. Steer, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Next no. offering is down low. Two balls, one strike. Double play ball to second. McNeil. The underhand that's flip. That. Lindor. That's one. No, On yeah. the first double play. And that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Mets six, and the Reds nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. That one catches the zone, and that is strike one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Oh, Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. On the ground at first, he takes out. it on his own, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now that is the first baseman, Pete. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. He's already homered here in this one. Fought off foul. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. The wind and the pitch. That Ball misses. One. And the count one and two. pitch swing and a miss struck him out now two away really love the pitch sequence right there I'm telling you what pitcher and catcher on the same page right now two outs base is empty here's Starling Marte one for two and that one ripped into right and a base hit Joey gets on base and keeps it going Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. DJ Stewart. Yeah, the batter now, DJ Stewart. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Here's a high chopper. McLean gets it to first, and that'll do it. Mets leave one. They lead it, though, 6 zip. Back here in Cincinnati, we head to the bottom of the fifth and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Jake Fraley, the wind of the pitch. That one pushed to the left and foul. 
Well, these Reds need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Field two. Check swing, and that's a ball. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have runners in scoring position because they put themselves there. 2-2. Two -two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Fights it off, you'll see another. The line to kick the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Here's a 2 2. On the ground, out to short. Slings it across, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. So up next, Christian Encarnacion Strand. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Yeah, that's too high. Duo. And a pitch. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. And now the lefty. Outside ball. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. And here is Tyler Stevenson. No. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. Good no. eye right there. Encarnacion Strand, the runner at second with one away. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Coming home. The throw into second. He pulls into second as a run scores. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Man at second with one away. Next for Cincinnati, Will Benson. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That one pushed foul. Pitch. Inside, ball two. 
Runner at second here, one gone. The 2-2. Two -two. And okay. another ball. Stays alive. And a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Left hand hitter waits. The other way. Base hit. Row comes into third, and they're at the corners with only one out. Just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an end. Didn't try to do too much with it, just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. First offering is fouled off. Rudders are at the corners, one away. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Brings it in. Rudder tags from third. Rohan not in time to run scores. It's 6-2. In that situation, you're lucky to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. And here comes the Mets manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Jose Quintana won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Jake Diekman. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Reds down to their final lap. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Not one close out. with that one, and that's ball one. Action in the pen down there. Drew Smith appears to be getting loose. Lopez getting cranked up as well. Two outs. Fastball almost got him there. In the air, right field. Can't get there, and it deflects off him. And that extends the inning. Cut off, now a throw home. Tag, got him. And that's the ball game. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. And your final, 6-2. to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.